Hello guys, welcome back to Shogun 2 Total War. Today we have something very, very different. We have a naval battle, that's right. Base factions, naval battle, me, Rosola, playing as the Mori. These guys have the best but most expensive ships. Really, they're basically the same thing, they just come with better stats in most cases. But uh, here I have four Mori Bow Cabayas. These are my light ships. Look at that. Over here I have two Mori Siege Tower Boons. And over here, three Mori Medium Boons, or technically they're actually called Boonays, but uh, I call them Boons. Fight me. And then of course, a Nihon Maru. On the opposing team, we have Dr. Dave, who, as you've recently seen, slaughtered Demo with a cab charge. He brought three Sengoku boons, four Sengoku boons, a Siege Tower boon, one, two, three medium boons, two, oh, two Firebomb Kabayas. These are little pesky things. And he's playing as the Oda. Right now, there's just a hell of a lot of posturing going on. I'm, my, my ships are getting a little, like, stuck on this island trying to position themselves. I was sending these guys over here, and he started sending the Sengokus over here. I don't think that was intentional, but Sengokus do counter any small Kabayas like this. So I just really wanted to get these away from his Sengoku boons, like, ASAP. And I started sending the Mori medium boons this way, but I really didn't know exactly where to place things. These islands made things kind of difficult on how to place things, because if it came down to fighting just here in the center, it was just going to be a clogged fucking toilet of death. And honestly, given the fact that he's rolling mostly Sengoku boons, and the whole tactic behind these is to charge and board your opponent, I actually kind of wanted him to just charge them all down here, or to send all four of these this way so I could dedicate resources to holding them off while focusing the rest of his ships because frankly, even though his army here is very deadly, the siege towers, the fire bombs, and then these really versatile mediums, I have enough lights that have fire arrows. I have my support ship to boost my fire rate and morale. I have two siege tower boons. I know that I can overwhelm them if I can just get these Sengokus away. Uh, so for that purpose, I started sending two of my medium boons around here, really kind of hoping that I could lure him down here. Where's my other one? I sent my other one over here, just the backup, because I want to be able to overwhelm his main force while drawing away at all, hopefully, of his Sengokus, or at least some, because the less Sengokus I have to deal with, the better. These things are really too fast and too strong in melee for me to want to deal with, and it looks like he's taking the bait over here, but right here we have uh, the starts of some engagements finally beginning. Fire hours coming off my Moribo Kabayas, hitting him right, look at these nice fire hits. Are we going to light him on fire though? See over here, his Sengoku boon's getting in there, but it doesn't look like it's charging in for a board. I started really sending all my fucking Bo Kabayas over here at this medium boon. Here we go, lit it on fire, really trying to get it burning, because that's the most overpowered thing in naval battles I found. If you can light a ship on fire, look at it, it's breaking already. It's, it's just, they, the crew can't handle it. They cannot handle fighting on a burning ship, and he has to stop to repair to actually put it out, and he's not doing that. He's just charging it in, and because of that, it's now routing and gonna surrender. He's charging everything. Look look at these Sengokus rushing through. I got over here his siege tower boons, and two Sengokus distracted with these mediums. He's got a firebomb Kabaya coming in. I'm quickly breaking it, because I know it's a threat. I'm putting everything that I can into really kind of trying to take it out, especially, here's another one, 
now that I've made this one route, I really have to get this one. Because look, it's already throwing firebombs, and these will destroy me if I don't get it down quick enough. Look, it's already flinging my crew out. They're already, the ship is breaking after just basically a single volley from this firebomb Kabaya. I have my Nihon Maru firing at it, because I know if this reaches my Nihon Maru, that's my biggest asset. Gone. He already got this Bo Kabaya like it's nothing. Another one routing as the rest of them are getting cut off but i might get this one to route as well this one's still on fire routing off into the distance his sengoku's never got to board anything over here they were all made to route too early and thank god i now got this firebomb kabaya over here he's sneaking his siege tower past me and these sengoku's he didn't go in for the board for some reason even though that's the strength of the sengoku's my siege tower boon opening fire on his Gotta love those match locks. These guys are real fucking strong. His starting to open fire now, too. Oh, look at it. Brutal. Brutal what match locks can do, especially when they have a siege tower to fire off. I'm starting to move mine away because it's starting to take some, some real morale hit here, and I don't want it to get caught by these Sengokus. I'm sending in some reinforcements over here, the Mori Medium Boon trying to get its attention so I don't lose this Siege Tower Boon, but it's too late. One of my strongest ranged ships here just running away like a bunch of cowards. Got my other Siege Tower Boon here, finishing it off, look at that, routing. Look at that, routing, everything. Is that everything of his route? No, I, no, we got more. The two Sengoku Boons, this is all that's left. The rest of his ships have already started routing. I have my Nihon Maru in safety constantly buffing my ships whenever it gets the chance and keeping them in their uh, in its morale radius to kind of keep my units in the fight and not routing like this little bitch over here. What, what did I even pay him for? He's, he's fine. Look, he's just missing like three-fourths of his crew, but he's fine. I don't know what I fucking pay him for. He's fucking running like a bitch. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get my Siege Tower out of the range of these Sengokus, just so that he that it doesn't take any boarding. Because this strength is ranged. This strength is melee. And they're not going to hold up if we get boarded. I don't really see that he's going in for any boards. Because it would usually say boarding. But here I am just kind of kiting this one with the Siege Tower boon. Just really letting his crew have it. Oh, he's actually going in for a board, but it's too late. He's routing. He's too scared. The match locks are just too much for his crew. Getting some fire in on this one. But this is his last ship, and it's wavering. What can he really do now with one Sengoku boon against everything that I have? I think the match lock might even be shooting it from here. Yeah, look at that. Even the match lock. And there you go. There you have it. It's done. Routing. Just like that. It was a really head-first clash, and honestly, I think it was probably starting out in Dave's favor. If he actually landed his boards with the Sengokus, that would have been it. There would have been no way that I could have won that. I didn't have anything that could handle boarding from this. I could have tried if to protect myself with the medium boons, because they have a war cry ability, but if he landed that on like a siege tower or something else, it would have been too much but thankfully it all worked out i managed to keep his sengokus distracted or quickly routed them the fire bombs taken care of thanks to my siege towers and just like that we have the first naval battle of the series i hope you guys enjoyed watching this let me know if you want to see more naval battles uh definitely gonna do some once we get to rome too sadly warhammer doesn't have these but uh the Shogun ones can be kind of iffy, so we'll see how you guys like it. Let's look at these kills. Mori Siege Tower Boons, 68 kills. Damn. None lost on it. That's, that's insane. 49 from this Medium Boon. Fucking fantastic. One Siege Tower Boon really, really did it for me. Look at that. Imagine fighting in one battle as like a private and getting promoted to like a sergeant. Just after that one fight that took you like 10 minutes. That's what just fucking happened here. Incredible. Let's look at his army. Uh, mainly his uh, media. Oh, the firebomb. Yeah, dude. This just ran in there and 
destroyed one of my Bo Cabayas like it was nothing. That was a real winner right there, but a lot of potential that was missed. And really with these Sengoku boons, he didn't land a single board. I don't know if he just didn't know what they were for. I feel like he did, he just didn't have any luck. But at the same time, he went past some of my ships too, so I'm not sure what was happening there. But uh, there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. And we're going to keep this series going nice and strong. Hope you guys are having a blast. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.